What's up guys, Dan Blewett here, and today I'm answering a big question, uh, and the question is, what's the number one thing you've learned throughout your career as a baseball player? So not just as a pitcher, but as an athlete, and really as just like, we all grow up in our sport, right? So ultimately I've been playing baseball, or I have been playing baseball for 22 years. So if you ask me what was the most important thing I learned throughout my entire playing career, it would be this, to know yourself, and to be the best version of you that you can be. So with everything in life, I think it's predominant wisdom now that you just have to be yourself. But being yourself is not easy, especially when like, you see other people getting things that you want, other people get recruited and you don't, other people get to start and you're sitting on the bench. I went through all that stuff too. And really what you, you learn is you try to get info from these people. You try to learn from others so that you can better yourself. Like, what is he doing? What is she doing that makes them successful? What could I learn from them to add to my game to make me better? That is very, very important. Being a lifelong learner is a critical skill. And all the best, you know, whether they're businessmen, businesswomen, you know, writers, videographers, it doesn't matter what they are. Athletes, People that learn, they're always willing to keep their minds open and grow and see what other people are doing and take the good and get rid of the bad. Those people end up floating to the top over time. But at the end of the day, you still have to know what's good for you and what applies to you and what doesn't. So in one of my recent podcasts, this guy Ty Blankmeyer, he's a second baseman type player. Definitely listen to the podcast episode because it's awesome. He was a small guy, and he learned when he got into Pro Bowl, and he tells a story. He's watching these guys hit 500-foot mammo shots in BP, and he's like, I can't do that. So he learned, okay, what can I do? And when he figured out what he could do and how he could contribute to teams winning games, he just tried to do that as absolutely as best as he could. And that was something that I also learned. That's something that if you ask any high-level player, they learn that over time. So you want to look around and see what do the successful players do. But once you've figured out what they do, you have to figure out how it applies to you. And when you know yourself and your individual strengths and weaknesses, then you know, okay, he's, a, he's got a great sinker. That's why, you know, Vanderbilt recruited him. But I'm not a sinker ball pitcher, so I don't really want to just add a sinker to my arsenal. Maybe I'll tinker with it, but at the end of the day, I'm like this kind of pitcher. Like for me personally, I was a four-seamer guy. I could pitch up in the zone, I could pitch in on hitters really well, but I was not a guy who did well down in the zone, I wasn't a sinker kind of pitcher. Um, there were times when I was, but over time, I really materialized the guy who is a, a challenge you, curveball, fastball, up kind of pitcher. That was the best version of me, and it took me a long time to figure that out. So if there's one thing that I learned, it's that you have to take all the information that you can about yourself and that's your successes and your failures really internalize how do I win games how do I do when I'm doing well what happens when I struggle who am I as a player ask other people ask your teammates ask parents like try to figure out because you only see yourself when you're looking back in the mirror and you want to get as many perspectives as you can on who you actually are because I know again personally I didn't really know who I was as a player really, or even as a man, until much later into my 20s. So as you go through your journey as an athlete, you're going to continue to evolve, and you're going to have to figure out as you change if you're aware of some of those changes too. So ask everyone you can, take all the information you can, learn from other people and watch what they do, but remember, if you don't know who you are, you're not going to know how other coaching techniques and other players' successes are going to apply to you. And when you know yourself and when you're intimately in involved in your own process, then you can start to take all the, the relevant training tips and, and mindset cues and all those things and apply them to you in the best possible way. And then you get better faster than you ever have before. So hopefully this video helped. I think this is a really important topic and it's always one of my goals as a coach to help young players figure out who they are so they can get on with the task of maximizing their own ability and getting where they wanna go in their sport, all right? So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video.